three people in the Bible are documented as not being acquainted with death like ordinary people. A saying goes, the only certain thing in life is its end. It is widely believed that death is the absolute end of every human being. However, there are stories in the Bible of several people who either avoided physical mortality altogether or eventually conquered it. Two of them never died and were never buried, while one died yet conquered death forever. At the end of the story in this video, we will tell you about a prophecy giving hope to all of us to one day know conscious ascension into God's kingdom. However, in order to understand the value of this event, let us first take a closer look at these three people who have never known death as we mere mortals do. Enoch, the man who was taken by God into the heavenly kingdom. All faith leaders of the past, however devoted, eventually passed away. Like Abraham, who died and was buried according to Genesis 25, 7-15. Abraham lived 175 years, then he breathed his last, and died in great old age, an old man full of years. And he was gathered to his people. His sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah near Mamre, in the field of Ephron, son of Zoar the Hittite, the field that Abraham had bought from the Hittite. There Abraham was buried with Sarah his wife. Isaac, Abraham's beloved son, outlived his father by 180 years, but he too died. Genesis 35, 28. Likewise, Jacob, Noah, Gideon, Isaiah, and Paul all died, usually of natural causes, with the exception of Paul, who is believed to have been beheaded during the reign of Nero. The exception is Enoch, who was taken by God and did not die or be buried. The Bible says that he walked with God for 365 years, and then was not, for God took him away. The book of Hebrews further explains that Enoch was taken from life without experiencing death. And before he was taken, he was praised as a man who pleased God. Most people familiar with the Bible will say that there are other people named Enoch out there. One of them was the son of Cain, Genesis 4.17 and two others were the sons of Midian and Reuben, respectively. See Genesis 25, 4 and 46, 9. But only this Enoch of whom we speak, the son of Jared, is the one who walked with God faithfully and did not die until he was taken into heaven, just as Moses recorded it in the book of Genesis 5, 22 through 35. In fact, and Enoch walked with God means that he was faithful to God throughout his earthly career. And it wasn't. That means Enoch didn't die and was never buried. His body was never found because God took it. This means that God personally took Enoch from the earth so that he never knew death and was never buried like the other people of his time. The writer of the epistle to the Hebrews, which is one of the books included in the New Testament, gives us further insight into these records. By faith, Enoch was taken out of this life that he should not taste death. He could not be found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he was praised as a man who pleased God. Hebrews 11.5 What do we know about Enoch? Here we will highlight only the most important things related to the personality of Enoch. Detailed videos about the books of Enoch can be found on our channel. They were considered non-canonical and rejected by the church. However, Genesis 5, 21 through 25 speaks of Enoch, the consecrated man. By reading what is written there, we can understand that Enoch is the son of Jared. This makes him the grandson of Mahalalel, who is the father of Jared. Enoch was born when his father, Jared, was 162 years old. Enoch was the father of Methuselah, According to the Bible, this is the person who lived the longest in the history of mankind, 969 years. Enoch was 65 years old when Methuselah was born. Besides him, Enoch had other sons and daughters whose names are not given to us. He lived a total of 365 years before he left earth, or rather, before God took him. Elijah, 
the man who ascends to heaven in a chariot of fire. Unlike Enoch, Elijah's departure from the earth is quite spectacular. As soon as his mission on earth was over, God sent a fiery chariot drawn by fiery horses to take him to a whirlwind of heaven. While Enoch's departure to the heavenly abode was a quiet and modest event, in Elijah's departure, we observe the complete opposite. He was divinely taken by heavenly transport in the most majestic style possible. The full account of the event is found in 2 Kings chapter 2. As they continued their conversation, suddenly there appeared a fiery chariot with fiery horses which separated them, and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind to heaven. 2 Samuel 2.11 This must have been an amazing experience for Elisha, who had the privilege of witnessing the ascension of Elijah. What do we know about Elijah? As for Elijah, he is a famous prophet in the Old Testament. Here are some interesting details about him. Elijah was God's prophet from Tishvit and Gilead. Elijah calls fire in the context of the conflict between him and the false prophets of Baal. He is the prophet who announces the drought that lasted in the land for three and a half years. Book 1 Kings 17.1 Elijah prayed again and the rains returned to the earth. Book 1 Kings 18.43-45 James 5.17 During the prolonged famine, Elijah was fed by a raven sent by God. Book 1 Kings 17.2-6 Elijah also received food from a widow in Zarephath, then miraculously multiplied her supplies. Book 1 Kings 17, 15 through 16. Elijah prayed for a dead boy and he came back to life. Book 1 Kings 27, 20 through 23. Jesus, the man whom death cannot hold in its clutches. Unlike Enoch and Elijah, Jesus experienced the physical effects of death. He was brutally killed by crucifixion and buried in a tomb. However, on the third day, he rose again. Now Jesus is alive in eternity. But he is alive not because he has not tasted death, but because although he experienced it, he conquered it. There is a significant difference between being raised from the death and being raised from the dead. Those who were brought back to life in the Bible eventually died again later. On the other hand, Jesus was raised from the dead and will never die again. The resurrection of Jesus represents the eternal victory over death. The author of the Acts of the Apostles gives us an amazing insight into Jesus' victory over death. But God raised him up, freeing him from the grip of death, because it was impossible for death to hold him in its power. Acts 2.24 Another passage speaks of his ascension. After he had said this, he was taken up before the eyes of the disciples and a cloud hid him from their sight. Acts 1.9 What do we know about Jesus? At the heart of the Bible is Jesus. That is why there is a lot of information that we know and that we have about him. Let's highlight only the most basic that is related to the topic of this video and that we will need to understand what we are going to share next. Jesus is God incarnate. He is God in the flesh. Christ is the second person of the Trinity. He is the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Savior of the world. While He was on earth, He performed countless miracles. He died to redeem mankind from sin and Satan. He was laid in a grave, but on the third day, He came out alive. Defeats death and ascends to heaven. Jesus will return again to judge and rule the world. It is precisely the latter that leads to a prophecy that has recently become more and more well known. According to Christians, the third one who never died is not only Christ, but all Christians. This belief is backed up by the second coming of Jesus. He will return for the salvation of those who wait for him. The purpose of his coming is the final salvation of all his children of all ages. That is salvation for all Christians. We find evidence of this in the prophecies of the first book of Thessalonians 4, 15 through 17. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who remain alive until the coming of the Lord shall not overtake those who have died. 
because the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout at the voice of the archangel and at the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are left alive shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall always be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4, 15-17 After all, two people in the Bible did not see physical death. They neither died nor were buried. A single man has seen death, but conquered it completely. He died and he was buried, but he came out of the grave alive, wrapped in unprecedented power and glory. Enoch did not experience physical death. God just took him from the earth. Elijah did not die a physical death. God used a chariot of fire and a whirlwind to take him from the earth. Jesus died, but rose again and ascended to heaven. As we said, believers are firmly convinced that there is another group of people who will not taste death in this world. These are the believers in Christ who will be alive when Jesus returns to earth at the second coming. This will begin with events described in the prophecies. Many Christians believe that this process has already begun and the time of Jesus' return to earth is much closer than we think. You will find a link to a detailed video on the topic below in the description. Many people, of course, do not believe in all that we have said, and that is their right. Everyone has their own truth, and it should be respected and not forced upon anyone else. Share in a comment, what is your truth on this topic? More videos about past, future, and present can be found in our channel. Consciousness encourages you to think outside of the general framework and to keep searching for new knowledge because if we all think the same, then someone didn't think at all.